left breast had to be removed. Fox Eyes' Patty Penn has more. I, I've, I've always joked and told people that my house was built on a spider hill because that's all I would find in, in my kitchen. My downstairs was spiders in my guest bathroom, in my garage, everywhere. It would be spiders. Victoria Franklin says she would never have thought it would be one of those spiders that would land her in a coma for 11 days. It wasn't until she woke up in the hospital that nurses told her she had lost her left breast, all because of a recluse spider, also known as a violin spider. And I had this, this thing down my throat. I'm up here saying to myself, what is a duck? Um, I thought it was a, uh, like a toy duck in my, in my throat, but it was the respirator. I had been on the respirator for that um, period of time. The 51-year-old Paulton County woman says she had no idea she had been bitten and only first noticed lumps on her breast a week after Easter Sunday. Over the next three days, she says she was vomiting, was nauseous, and then the pain and the smell became unbearable. It was it was like a stench, like 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 um, I, I want I want to say like rotten eggs or something like that, something, but it was stronger and I couldn't take it anymore. In fact, she tells us her left breast was as black as tar when she went to the emergency room. She says by the time she got to Wellstar Windy Hill Hospital, gangrene had apparently set in and both the muscle and the tissue had to be removed. Both my photographer and myself are being asked to put on these gowns as a precautionary measure, not only for the protection of Miss Franklin, but also for ourselves because of the extent of her wound. Franklin is hoping now her story will be a lesson to others that if they have spiders and, 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 and they know they have spiders, like I, I knew I had spiders, I want them to, to be very aware and get their houses exterminated. In Cobb County, Patty Pan, Fox 5 News. Stay with us when we return.